Welcome to Unlock Your Soul with yours truly, Antonio Soul. I am at the lovely Nairobi Street Kitchen. This is the platform where we get to scratch beneath the surface and find out what really makes us human. And today, I'm with one of Kenya's foremost pioneer and a really amazing person through and through, to be honest. In and out is an amazing person, but also one of Kenya's most amazing and most celebrated DJs, DJ and Raf. What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. <laughs> Is that how you talk and Raf, like normally? Yeah, do see. Oh yeah, that's the one I know. flipping audience, not So audience, yangu na sababu audience yangu ni bougie. That's also not a bad thing. Where we are. It's a location, location. Anyway, and Raf, before we go any further, yes. Uh, first your shoe game. Hey, well, let's go to that shoe game. And Raf's shoe game is on point. We matches my cup. What do you call those shoes? It's just Nikes. Nikes. Do you, you can't bend though. You don't bend when you're nini. There's always I've seen that meme of. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Get, Oh, it's you shouldn't crazy. do that. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's How many crazy. pairs of shoes do you have? Maybe ten. Ten pairs of shoes. Yeah. Are you saying this for the? No, no, for real. Nike, Converse, and then I'll have the casual shoes. Well, let me just. I, I cannot. You know this Converse store. Yeah, I can't say. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, say. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many pairs of shoes I have? Are you? You have like two hundred. I have like <laughs> I think like ninety-seven. Do you boots? Do you old? Yeah. Old, old, I know. They're like ninety-seven. So I've, how how comes you've known me since I was in high school? I've been trying to understand how old are you and Ralph. <laughs> Um, I'm old enough. No, no, the problem is I probably started early. Yeah. <laughs> you started DJing early. I started DJing in high school. Which high school did you go to? I went to Prince of Wales. Is that, no, Nai- trying, Nai- Nai- is that Nairobi school? King, 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 of King Charles. King Charles. Yeah. Is that Nairobi school? Yeah, the Nairobi. Oh, school. you went to Patch. Yeah, but school you didn't of, play. You didn't play like, didn't play like rugby and that stuff. Oh no, I played inter class and mm-hmm. inter house, but mm. not in the in the school. In team. the school. So yeah. interesting enough, I, is that I think you've told me this before, but today I remember that you actually have a twin. Oh yeah, I have a twin. But I've never seen you with a twin, I have a twin ever. And he's an amazing DJ and. Now he's in corporate. He's in corporate. Yeah, but how comes I've never seen you with him? You guys are not out here. In no, fact, your twin spends more time with your elder brother than you. How how it's comes? Because one, they work together. Mm. They run a company together, mm-hmm. uh, Black Rhino, which is a virtual reality and augmented reality company. Yeah. But now the issue, the problem is why we are not most of the time together is because of our schedules. Mm. You know, I love Miniko 100% into DJing and, and show business and him he cuts across. So yeah. he was a corporate, yeah. he was a banker, yeah. and sasa kaingia, sasa creative. Sasa, because of that, and when you look at your, when your family thinks, thinks of you, are you like the black sheep in the family? No, weird, no, weird enough, uh, we started playing, we, we got into music when we were kids. Yeah. Because our mom was a music teacher. So, music was just in there. First, house. a big shout out to your mom, because hey, mom. it was just Wild hey, Teacher's Day, a few... Days yeah, ago, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. What's up, mom? Yeah, yeah. So at the end of the day, we got into music from that, and I'm not the only DJ or the only producer in our family. Mm-hmm. Our family, like, if we go in our nuclear family, we are three DJs because yeah. my big bro is the one who taught us, mm-hmm. Mr. French. So mm-hmm. he was in Code Red. So he's the one who taught us how to DJ, and then my twin bro, and then my other brother is a music producer. Is Mr. French Brian? Yes. <laughs> Brian Afande. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you, but you also come from a from a sort of a diplomatic family of sorts. Oh, yeah. If I may call it. Yeah. Is that why you've you've uh, sort of grown uh, up? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's is that why you're always in the States? Look no, at me, I'm not No, that's not the reason. No, the reason is because I have family pretty much uh everywhere. I mean you're yeah. Lunj. So yes, oh, yes, yes. Yeah, you, you, you guys took seriously feel the ass. <laughs> My, my and fill up Kawangwari. This is the story. My granddad <laughs> had 12 wives. Eh? So you can imagine how Where? big our famo is. Is this where the time that I've known you, I've known you with like 19 girlfriends? No, I've never. I only have one girlfriend at a time. Yeah, but that's the thing. I've known you for so many years. You've had so many girlfriends. No, 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 no. I what? just had like, like five. <laughs> that's a lie. And I don't believe you. Before we get into your into your preference with BBWs, because you're like the you're like the poster child 
for love your BBWs. That's, that's what people say. No, that's what everybody <laughs> knows. It's the truth. The whole world knows it. It is what it's, it is. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so tell us about how you began your journey as a DJ, um, you know, and, and how the journey has been for you. Yeah. Because I, you don't look like you age at all. So, I've, I mean, every time I look at your Instagram, you're partying somewhere, you're, yeah. you're DJing somewhere, you're traveling. How's that journey been for you and how do you remain relevant for so long? So, like, the DJing, like I explained, we got into music when we were really young. Mm -hmm. So it's it's definite now for you to choose which part you want to be. Yeah. And now as a DJ, I started DJing when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons is because my bro used to be in Code Red. Brian yeah. was in Code Red. Yeah. So he had equipment. Mm -hmm. So and at Patch, we didn't have holiday to show no Yeah. So when you close Shule, you go yeah. back home for like literally a month wow. for your holiday. And yeah. then you just start training yeah. and stuff and stuff. Yeah. So that was, I don't want to say the, the year. Yeah. <laughs> Those guys who start doing Hey, that if it, me, me, I really want to know. <laughs> The way you don't, you know, you're so, hiding your age. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I got into DJing and when I cleared high school, my twin bro and I met up another pal of ours who passed away, RIP, uh, Heaven Soldiers. So, we started a, a group called the Knockout Squad and mm -hmm. we managed to get a gig at Fladis. Mm -hmm. So, like, Fladis was my first official gig. Wow. Yeah. So, we did that. Then, when my boy passed away, uh, I sent a demo to Homeboys mm -hmm. and it was picked up. And a few days later, John Raba called me. He's like, I didn't ha actually have a phone. Yeah. So I gave my, my big bro's number. number yeah. So he came home. He's like, hey, someone is looking for you. So I call it's John. And he's like, yo, I listened to your, to your demo and I think there's something there. Yeah. You know, and this is when... Uh, homeboys and John were doing Coca-Cola posters and mm -hmm. all that stuff. So I'm like, yo, this is a guy I'm seeing on telly, a guy I've followed since I was a kid and everything. And they're saying, and they're I saying, have something, I've yeah. I've seen something, yeah. There. And that was the the only validation I mm -hmm, mm -hmm, You know, so mm -hmm. I, I guess it's uh, like they always say, after that, everything took off. You know, so I joined Homeboys. Then after that, I, I worked there for like four years, I think. And in that four years, I was I was doing radio because we were doing Kiss at that time. So did Kiss. Then when we launched Homeboys Radio, still did Homeboys Radio. Then we were on TV, doing H2O on 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 uh, KTN. Then moved to Nation. Yeah. Then after hey, you've that, been you've been around the block. Yeah. Then after that, I flew out. Does it does does this pay all this work that you're doing? Does it pay off eventually, or does it pay uh, off? at the it's, moment it does but you you like i always say whenever i used to lecture guys it depends on just how or what you you're trying to get out of what you you're getting yourself into mm -hmm. you know because i know there are guys who who came into into entertainment to get fame there are guys who came in to get chicks there are guys who came in to get money and for me it's just the love of yeah of playing music and seeing guys happy and, and the impact it does wow so yeah. now you're in the states so yeah. Flown out. So see tour. Yeah. Is that <laughs> that's where you find your the, that's, your that's your home ground now because you know, you're very different and rough when you're in the states when you travel. No, it's, it's the it's bougie places. side of you comes out. Ah, no, it's different. It's different places. It's it's different environments and you have to fit in. Do do you? There's always this thing of people feeling like for you to make it, you need to leave and go to the states. But it's also a facade of sorts. Like people think yeah. it's not easy. You can't it's go not. and knock out those guys who are already doing yes, their thing there. Yes. Uh, luckily, is the thing is, Anto, if you're a good person yeah. and you're coming from a good place, yeah. people will embrace you. Yeah. You know, because this industry, because I've been in it for so long, I know. There are guys who will put a facade. There are guys who, you, when you talk, they'll be like, oh, Anto is a really fresh yeah, guy. But behind yeah, the scenes, this yeah, guy is, is not a fresh yeah. guy. Yo, that stuff really shows. Yeah. It, it comes out. Yeah. So you'll notice there's a couple of guys who've been able to do this thing for so long. Yeah. They may not be having the biggest gigs. They may yeah. not be all over billboards. Yeah. But they're still there. Yeah. It's because... Actually, that's the best way yeah, to do things. It's because most of these guys are really cool guys. Yeah. But also, this also now brings me back to, Na to Nairobi, to Kenya, and, and yeah. um, your sort of the DJ fraternity in Kenya. Yeah. There's what seems to be a lot of, you know, 
a rivalry. A, not not really, but there's a nice painted picture. The, the, the building is very well painted, yeah, but, but the inside, inside uh, there's a lot of issues. And the rivalry is not for a t- this crew versus this crew. It's not Gaza versus Gali Creepers. Yeah. No, it's it's just people will knock you out when it comes to like opportunities. People will sell themselves short yeah. so they can just they can get, get you out. Yeah, they can yeah. get the job. But this happens a lot. W- what is the problem? Is it the newer kids or is it just people with bad manners? It doesn't uh, matter who it is. I think because when, when I came up, we we came up in the age of DJ crews. Yeah. You know, so we had the homeboys, you had Code Red, you had MOB, you had all these other uh, Park Sound, you had SWAT. Mm-hmm. So the rivalry was there, but for to to an extent it was very healthy mm. you know because i could get music from my brother i could yeah. get music from any other side yeah. so as in as much as the rivalry was on paper like we wouldn't you wouldn't see us in public it was more it was more skill and technique yes. and and musical yes. yes and and now getting your own crowd yeah but in this day and age now everybody is is like a brand and you know the competition with the brands is very is yeah. very is very cutthroat. Yeah. So I don't I don't wanna say it's the new age and the old age, but all I know is that they are gatekeepers as yeah. well. Yeah. They are gatekeepers. Yeah, let's just break it down. When someone says gatekeepers, and for someone like you who've been in the industry for a while, <laughs> Someone would want to understand what do we mean by gatekeepers? Because these kids who are coming up, hey, they yeah. have it really rough. Because yeah. you know they're out here probably trending on TikTok or whatever. Yeah. You know, assuming the gigs will come, and then maybe a few gigs will come, and then everything just gets shut down. And they wonder why is the people who are supposed to be supporting me are the ones who are stopping well, me. Well, yeah. So what do we mean by gatekeeping? Uh, what happens? No. One thing is like again, we we came into the game when we didn't have fast social media. Mm-hmm. We didn't have. We had to actually grind. Me, I had to to make mix CDs, label mm, them, mm, uh, walk in Tao, mm, give them out, Matriza Westy, Matriza mm, Buru, Matriza mm-hmm. whatever. I had to like put a poster up, you know. So if you look at the age where we we got into and the age now, it yeah. for me it's like a balance. Yeah. Because you have pros and cons. Yeah. So it's up to you to choose what's gonna be gonna work to your advantage. Yeah. Now in terms of gatekeeping, you'll have. The guys who've had relationships with brand managers, mm-hmm. from, like like my age mates, yeah. are probably some of the guys who are running different accounts. Right yes, now, you know. So in terms of gatekeeping, if I was those guys, yeah. I'd call Anto and say, Anto, if you're managing this brand, you're obliged to give me gigs. Don't yeah. give this young. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So that's gatekeeping. I'm yeah. trying to suppress these other guys so that I can. And a lot of commissions, things, that, things that we we say things. are not allowed. Only on, like you say, only on paper. On paper. But uku chini But it's, it's what's <laughs> happening. And, and for me, we 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 are the guys who actually broke first the cycle of of DJ units mm, mm. because at one point it the the you know how they say you can't be bigger than your brand. Yeah. So if you're under any outfit, you as an individual, you can't yeah. be bigger than the yeah. brand. Yeah. But we are the guys who broke that case that mold, and that's yeah. why you have yeah. like you have and rough now you'll have wesley you'll have uh the hypnotics you'll yeah. have the crims yeah all of us were in wine wine stables like, yeah like like dj groups yeah but we broke up and we became really huge brands in yeah. terms of our of whatever but gatekeeping is there it's there but it's and it's there. it's sad that it exists in a world yeah. where it <laughs> it shouldn't it shouldn't yeah because this should be a, a world of, like we say it's about skill technique yeah. your knowledge your music knowledge yeah. i mean to no offense i have seen <laughs> i've seen dj's going on stage and i'm like um say i'm a pang you are set list yeah who you akuna venye is set list na alafu is set list such as radio juzi yeah so you are born in norma and are the same set list in a gig in a club other issue is uh like you have technology that's come yeah kitambo we had to have records yeah you had to buy records you had to listen to a record yeah. you had to buy cds yeah but now you have the serato you have the technology yeah. so until you really don't need much jobo yeah. to do so much research say i'll just go and see and look for spotify top 10 or yeah. apple music top 10 yeah and i have the songs that are trending yeah. or the songs that guys really want to listen to. Yeah. So there's not so much work that you need to. But at the end of the day, us as DJs who grinded, we I can tell there's some research 
this guy did. Yeah. There's a song this guy would play. Yeah. Aki ingiza ingo mapa. I'll know this guy. Even breaking actually. music. Exactly. I mean, if you play a song and I hear a song for the first time and I shazam it, and I'm like, I've never heard I've of that never song, heard this song. But yeah, this song so is fire. There's that there's that comfort where it comes with the issue of trending. Mm. Do you think AI will probably either teach people a lesson in terms of like of the authenticity. Yeah, and it will just experience. come through and everybody will be like, now, since we you've been doing it anyway, you've been lying to us, AI yeah. will just help people to fix this problem. Uh, I think man created AI. Yeah. So man, at the end of the day, will still be mm. relevant mm. in as much as it might do a lot of changes. Yeah. But man will still be relevant. Yeah. I mean, you saw what happened when 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 Drake AI song came out. Exactly. You know, and yeah. you're going to be like, "Okay, if AI can just give me a Drake verse, yeah. or Drake voice, exactly. just yeah. charge it as as AI." Yeah. Drake. There's yeah. that issue. Yeah. You know, but the authenticity of of the human being is always Yeah, I mean, I'm more concerned about I'm more concerned about someone someone calling your kid or your brother and telling them in your sound in your voice and tell them that you know yeah, and yeah. Rafi is at NSK and you guys need to run here and then yeah, they actually end up kidnapping like, your bro yes. whilst lying that it's, it's you that's what concerns me more it's crazy so I think there should be some sort of regulation in terms of just how far yeah. this tech this can, can go yeah it can go you know yeah. and we are really not ready for what but not in Kenya in Kenya until people sell their irises and their pupils I know you saw that so wild, I mean, wild coin I, I mean it's, you just have to choose your and, and educate yourself yeah and too. then maybe and we even have people here who love wild coin here oh guys who got chums yeah so they, didn't they, they didn't get a shilling <laughs> they didn't get a shilling and as you and as you wild coin there I hope you've shot <laughs> Haril yeah so as you wild coin here <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much. So, <laughs> let's let's get into who, who, which who are some of the DJs who you really look up to in Kenya specifically. Uh, I mean, when you remember what they do, oh. when you think about them, you're like this hey. guy. Let's give them their flowers. Hey, me, I'm a fan of of amazing DJs. Like I'll tell you, uh, John Raba is one yeah. of my favorite DJs. Yeah. DJ Edu is one of my favorite DJs. Mm-hmm. Styles is one of my favorite DJs. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nijo, Pinya, and I'm not just saying this because I did their, I found them in the yeah. It's yeah. because it's, uh, they're really dope They're DJs, dope, yeah. You know, when, because anybody who mixes the records, wow, wow, yeah, wow, 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 wow. Prime is Adrian, a hey, that uh, stuff. Uh, Final Cut, who yeah. was my colleague, is an amazing DJ. Mad Tracks yeah. is amazing. And these are, proper DJs yeah not, uh creme hypnotic yeah. not just it's not about the hype ideas, it's, it's amazing the These are yeah. really dope so they are your DJs. peers now you know I'm getting closer <laughs> to knowing your age <laughs> so how old are you really and rough I am old enough <laughs> so okay I can guess your age based off of your ID what your ID starts with number two 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 what two five two four two <laughs> two, three. two. Two, three, no, two, like, four. Like, I got my ID really late. Oh, please. Because we weren't released in school. Oh, we please. Oh, for real. You are just, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The number will still come out. So let's, 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 speak it up about, you know, being really late. <laughs> You're very early when it comes to BBWs. Are we, are we allowed to say that on, are we allowed to say it? Yeah. What does it mean? Oh, big, beautiful women. Yeah. So, if, my whole life I've known you, you have a, you have a type, you have a preference. Your women have to be like voluptuous. Yeah. So what is it about voluptuous women that just makes you, I just mean, make you go crazy? I mean, like one, it's a preference. Yeah. You know, you know there are guys who will be like, hey, that's my type. That's yeah. My type. I, yeah. I don't want to call it type yeah. because now that's like objectifying. Yeah. But it's a preference of just what I love. And then I'm not that big. So I have to balance that. Yeah. A scale. Yeah. So you know what they say you are attracted, opposites attract. Yeah. So for me it's like literally so literally, literally yeah. opposite. Yeah. Now the thing is the reason I had to bring this up is because the times that I've met you <laughs> first you you invited me to this gig where I was just flabbergasted. You were overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed <laughs> by the sheer amount of of body. As, eh? Like and, and so this is the thing. And Raf loves he loves voluptuous women, yeah. and then what he also does as he does that he goes and brings all of them in a room together and decides to do a campaign with them. I mean, and, I, and I'm just like and Raf, eh? You are you're a rough rider. No, 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 no. no, it's it's. I mean, there's nothing as good as seeing people happy. 
you know yeah and also being happy while you're making other people happy. yeah you know for me that's like that's life for me yeah you know even when i play music it makes me happy mm. so and it makes somebody else happy so why is it crazy when you you try and and share a smile or someone sharing a smile? yeah it's just basically that yeah so me i love that so now you understand why he's the poster child of plus size women and, and 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 but also the but also i but also the initiative that you had that we were talking about which was about really people really being confident and yes. and 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 appreciating who they are as a people yeah. why do you think it's important for anybody for any young girl who's yeah. watching any young man who's watching who feels like they're plus size who feels like they're they're bigger yeah. than, than than what is stereotypically the, yeah. you know this is how it's supposed to look like why is it important for them to be confident in their own skin i mean the world is tough enough yeah Anto. yeah the world is tough enough yeah so you have so many things that are like against you yeah your body size or type shouldn't be mm. you know mm-hmm. i mean it starts from home yeah and uh, yeah I, i accept myself for who i am yeah so it's easy for you to accept others immediately after you've accepted yourself. yeah you know and Like I said the world is going through so much there's so many wars yeah there's climate change there's so much so the least someone should be worried about yeah. is how you feel about how I look which reminds me about the conversation we we're having earlier on about how you could be in a relationship with somebody and you're sick and tired of them there was that trend that was going on t- on TikTok I yeah. know uh, on Twitter on X yeah. and guys were talking about how they in a relationship but when they get a call from their boyfriend or their girlfriend they're like oh my god i hope it's a bad i hope it's a bad, bad news thing. that i cuz oh, I, wow. i so i don't see them for like a week wow. or like somebody why are you not drinking your tea by the way you're the most lu- <laughs> lawyer person apparently it, it, the sip it's can, okay the sip can be it's, we want to hear it <laughs> so now you, you you see when you when you when you when you drink that tea when you swallow mm-hmm. the person here is like you're doing like, mm, it's mm, like now mm, you're, mm. you're irritating yeah me. even this, this is a point where they're like where are you even breathing yeah. where are you even breathing so but you are very clear that if if you feel like that about your friend yes. or about someone you're in a relationship with you are not yes. in a relationship yes you don't, I mean, you don't have a friend i mean things not every it, relationships are give and take yeah you know So before I get into a relationship with somebody I think I've already frisked you mm. on things that might irritate me yeah. like how you chew like how you pronounce some yeah. words yeah. you know there are things and once I've moved beyond that yeah. it's not it's never going to come back yeah 5 years 10 years mm-hmm. and like mm. so sana na uwe na chwingiaje that's you know <laughs> to me it's superficial yeah. and I'm like and then this is not You know we we're talking about the friendship and now the relationship. Yeah. You know, I'm friends with so many people but I'm not in relationship with many people. So by the time I take the friendship into a relationship, I've already seen the good side and the bad side. Mm. You know. So I'm not I'm not doing justice to that person starting to feel irritated. This guy has been breathing yeah. ever since you. Why is it bothering me now? He hasn't started changing breathing. Yeah. You know, he hasn't started changing how. Is it a toxic things. thing that we have that we are we're just toxic people I and think we sort of revel in it but we look for other reasons but ourselves yeah, to yeah, blame yeah. for our, our toxicity. Yeah. I think we we deflect a lot mm. and we don't look at ourselves in the mirror first. Yeah. You know because I mean a relationship is is a back and forth. It's yeah. a give and take. Yeah. So by the time me na kana sima umse ana ni irritate vile ana ana pumua tu ana funga nywele vile tu anatembea. But umse ama kwa kidu. Amekuwa kidu hivyo. Yeah. Na uliko na mkatia wewe. Yeah. People are not really getting into relationships for the right reasons. Mm. You know. So if if I'm in a relationship because this guy has money Obviously when he stops having money he'll he'll start irritating you. Yeah. You know. So yeah. those are those underlying things that people really need to have a conversation about. Mm-hmm. Why are you in a relationship with this? Yeah, person? yeah. You know, because let me tell you. If you're in a relationship with someone for the wrong reason. Yeah. And that thing that brought you together misses. Yeah. Other things will start. Coming. Especially people who are in a relationship because they've had sex. Or oh, oh, the relationship yeah. because they are intimate. So naturally, yeah. it, the, the, it 
for them they think the natural progression of their intimacy yeah. should now should be a now relationship be, yeah. well maybe you're just friends with benefits yeah, yeah, or exactly. you just had a one night stand and exactly. it should end there so and and you know i was reading something where someone was saying that that women are the gatekeepers of of sex yeah. and sort of love yeah. you know and so the idea that just because you've been able to you think you have sex with somebody that yeah. now you automatically think that you have control over who they are yeah. No. It's it re- it's, it's really it's, sad. Yeah. Do do you have a family of your own or are you planning to have a family? Uh, if God blesses me, yes. What you know, like, what do you feel like what do you feel like you look for in somebody who you feel like you're gonna end up I mean, for me with them for life. Patience. Yeah. You know, patience. For me patience is a big thing. Yeah. Okay, yes, then you add religion, then yeah. you, add, you add like this someone. Are you a religious person? Are you a spiritual person? Yes, yes, yes. Are you a, you're Catholic, right? Yeah. But yeah, I'm actually, you, know, you, you see, I know so much about you. I'm a, I'm a bit scared. <laughs> yeah, you it's are Catholic. Things, it's because I put my life out there. Yeah. How whether it's it's strange yeah. to some people, yeah. whether it's it's good, whether yeah. people find it awkward. Yeah. I mean, it's it's just how we were raised. So well. paint a picture of this of this lady and how she looks like, like like I want you to just imagine we're closing our eyes and we're just like she's. Five four, she's <laughs> fair. She's plus size. She works. She drives. I mean, able like, to explain to us how this lady looks like. like. Let me, like one. Mm. You know, naskanga ile theory was so sema. Mtu ana oa, mtu ana kaka kama mama yake, mtu ana kama mama yake. So there's that thing. Yeah. So my mom never wore a lot of makeup. Probably just a lipstick once. Yeah. Now. And she was a teacher. So yeah. Psh, yeah. Which teachers? Going with makeup exactly, you know? yeah. So she was very natural, yeah. You know, she was so for me. I'm just like a natural lady is, yeah. is good for me, yeah. an authentic lady is good for me, yeah. Who doesn't have a lot of superficial stuff, yeah. And I get uh, sometimes it makes the other person's confidence grow, mm. but for me, I'm, I'm just like someone when you're Mejitambua and she's accepted this themselves for who they are, yeah. First of all, it's just being natural. Yeah. No mambo mingi. Like me, I don't even have mambo mingi. Maybe tattoos. Yeah. But just natural. Yeah. You know, uh, someone who's patient. Someone who's religious. Are you saying someone who's patient because you're are you, you're difficult to deal with? No, 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 no. Someone might say at you, oh, you need to be patient. Someone. But then, ah, ah. No, 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 relationships are wild. Yeah, so you're talking in general, uh, like, yeah, in general, in li- with life. With life, with life, they have to be very patient. And also they have to have that idea of, of saying, okay, would you want to have kids? Yeah, you know, yeah. You don't want to be, you don't want to force someone to have to yeah. do something that they really don't want to. Yeah. Do. You know, so you have to have someone with also an open mind. Yeah. Yeah, and then, Kavi. Yeah, you know, not like, that's that's not that should have been at the top of your list. Nah, 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 How many nah, kids nah. would those you? Are, those ones you can, you, you, she can, be, you know. You, doing that's it. please a lie. <laughs> There's no way your your, your wife, I, I will not, if I come to your wedding, and I find that your wife is not Kavi. Oh, bro, that's your twin. <laughs> but like, this is a clone, Mumemuiba ni Wongo. It's not. It's not. This is not the we'll girl. See, the we'll wife. See, we'll see. We'll How many we'll kids would you we'll like see. to have? Uh, as many as I can provide for. Your lawyer, so that's, that's like. I mean, that's that's the perfect answer for a lawyer person. Know, yeah, it's as like a, as, as many. A parent, you should be able to provide. Yeah. Yeah. So if God grants me billions and I can, pro- ah, you procreate. I was trying to hook you up with Pendo, <laughs> but then <laughs> Pendo was like, like two lawyers. We cannot be. Yeah, like, that would be. Why? It, do you feel like the budget for? Yeah, I'm gonna be a bit stereotypical here. The budget for food, <laughs> like all those things, they just go up. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I'm scared I'm scared is because you might do your is, your history and research to find she's your lab because of oh you know, so I'm really scared of of, of your, or, your the or 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 same tribe yeah, that's yeah, it yeah. so let's let's now go back into the industry and tell me somebody who's played music who's made artists so to say for someone who's in an industry that is literally built on an ecosystem between musicians yeah, yeah. and 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 producers and DJs yeah. what makes a great artist in this day and age of all these social media of TikTok of Discord of Twitch all those all those things what makes a great DJ a great artist I beg your pardon uh, I think for me one you just have to be authentic mm. and you have to be true to yourself again remember I said what 
put you or what brought you to the industry. There are guys who came in for fame and they'll be like checking what's trending. Yeah. You know, if, if, if I'm a piano is trending, they'll go and do an I'm, I'm a piano jam. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and they'll trend and they'll make it and they'll be famous and yeah. all that. Yeah. You know, there are guys who came in it for the money who will be like behind the scenes, who will be like now controlling what's happening, whether I'm a, I'm a producer, whether yeah. I open a record label, distribution. Yeah. So it depends on whether the genre of music. Yeah, so I mean, one, you have to be authentic. I make music. You know, I record music. Yeah. I have albums out there. Yeah. And I I actually don't make them because I'm targeting a certain audience. Yeah. I make it because I actually love how this sounds. Mm. You know. Yeah. And you'll get the audience. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So I'm usually surprised when I go to check my Spotify artists or Apple Music and find guys in Mexico. Colombia. Yeah. I mean, I mean yeah. I don't know so many guys yeah. in Colombia. Yeah. Yeah. I know but none. But you, you find yeah. guys listening to your to yeah. your music. Yeah. So I think. For me, that's how you become, or that's how you you end up having longevity. Mm. Right now, again, the the issue is what's trending. Yeah, you know, so you 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 end up really chasing, chasing, chasing. That's why you find so many artists having singles and not yeah. albums. Yeah. Because but they actually, burn out so quickly because yes, of chasing this. This chasing, is the new trend. Yeah. So I need you, to get that sound. Yeah. So if if you record an album. And it sounds like uh, Genge. Yeah. And you really love how it sounds. Yeah. But then, I'm a piano is trending. Yeah. So what do you do with that album? Yeah, you're, you supposed, to, it, yeah, you, yeah, you're supposed to shelve it. Then you now go, go then to... Then come back and yeah. you know, it's trending. Yeah. So that's the danger. For me, I'm, I'm like, one, if it's authentic to you, yeah, people will love it. Yeah, you know because people people actually buy into your authenticity. People yeah. really buy into your story. Yeah, people can tell. Yeah, you know it's like yeah. me singing about being in a kibanda or rapping yeah. in a kibanda. I yeah. go there. Yeah, so it's not at your facade I'm, I'm putting out there. Yeah, but then again, there's more into the music business than just going into the studio and recording. Yeah, you have now to figure out your marketing. You have mm-hmm. to figure out which platforms you're putting your your content on. Yeah, right now, I feel. Artists are very lucky because they have so many outlets mm. to put their music at. You yeah. have the Apple, Spotify, Pandora's, uh, Deezer, uh, Tidal. You have all those. Yep. So it's just a, a matter of you making good content and marketing. Now, marketing, you have social media. Mm-hmm. You have ads. Yeah. You know, you have your Google ads. Mm, you have influencers. Your Facebook, and then you have influencers. Content. You can, you can tell yeah. Anto, Anto post my Yeah, I'm expensive. You cannot afford or, me. Or, Don't tell me. Let me tell guys the story. Let me tell Which guys story? the story. What story? Let me, what, what Anto? So, I was recording my second album and I sent Anto a track. Oh, God. <laughs> did I forget? Did I not Anto record? Anto never got back to me. <laughs> till today. <laughs> He's my friend, yes, but t- guy, but let me like think, let me tell you the truth. I think the thing about you, you are brought up in a very good family where you're just all lovey dovey. And I feel like when someone doesn't reply to you, you sort of like give up on them. You're like, oh, it's okay. If you are me, me I would have called you and told you, excuse me, there is an uh, there is an audio you're you're supposed to record. I, I mean, but also I remember just saying when I was traveling to yeah, SA yeah, 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 yeah. a lot. Yeah. But yeah. all you had to do was just remind me. I, anyway, the track is still there. Guy, I'm, I'm recording the third album. Anyway. This is the shit here. Someone has been on this <laughs> it's true, platform. It's true. Okay, I, I'm gonna record the song. I, <laughs> yes, and he has to record it. I have to record. Now that we've said it, hey, you made people. Now people see the guy. We are not finding my best. You see, you see, it happens. <laughs> but we are still friends. You look beyond beyond he, the fact that ah, uh, stop speaking like that. I did refuse. We don't look beyond anything. There's nothing to look beyond. I just forgot to record. Jesus. Okay. As as we wind up, there's a lot of um, <laughs> there's a lot of uh, you know, obviously, say on hip hop, hip hop turning fifty years old. Yeah. yeah. Who are your biggest hip hop artists in Kenya? And then we'll go to international, mm. or we'll go to we'll go. Let's do Kenya and East Africa, and then Africa, and then international. Who do you really, really rank as far as hip hop is concerned or, in East Africa? Like, I'm a, I'm a fan of, of of musicians. I'm a fan of artists. Yeah. You know, I'm a fan of uh, the Kalamashakas. I'm a fan of Uko Flani, Mau, mm-hmm. the whole crew, because I've done projects with mm-hmm. Akina Wakamba, Wili, Labalana. Yeah. 
I'm a fan of of genge music. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan of what Nonini Juakali brought to the table. Yeah, Thanks. yeah. Uh, the doors they yeah. opened. Not just as a DJ, but yeah. a, a, an actual fan. Yeah. I'm a fan of Calligraph. I'm a yeah. fan of Octo. Yeah. To do shows at uh, Wapi. Wapi. Yeah. British Council. Yeah. You know, these are guys like yo. Let's do this. If yeah. You can help you and that. Yeah. You know, I'm a fan of the female MCs, Femi One. Yeah. Fem, of, Femi Uno. Uh, Wangeshi. I'm yeah. a fan of Fena. As yeah. In, literally, I love because there's something that they'll produce or do that will hit me. I'm yeah. a fan of Kinkaka. As in, from. Yeah, but also I can tell from your list the people who have put in the work. It's yes. not just somebody who has like the, the biggest song now. Yeah. It's about yeah. somebody who has Who's had the biggest song, yeah. can have the biggest song tomorrow, yeah. but they've been doing this, they've yeah. been consistent. They have catalogs, they have yeah. catalogs. You know, I'm a fan of Nyash Kolo, guys yeah. we went to, to patch with. Yeah. We, like a family, we are, we are really close. Yeah, you are a fan of Nyash. Yeah. For the Nigerian audience. Because <laughs> you say you're a fan of Nyash. <laughs> Nyashinsky. Yes. What about Africa? Who do you really like? You rank uh, in Africa? Africa. I had a chance of meeting Proverb in SA, mm. and he's a. We really met him. He yeah, he's, he, he really always happy. like during yeah. the time of Channel O. Hey, that guy, he exactly. blew up. When yeah, he's huge Channel o. Yeah. yeah. So Pro, I'm a fan of Pro. Yeah. Uh, AKA, luckily, uh, his manager mm. is my friend. Mm-hmm. We know each other. I was actually mm-hmm. with him last week. Not wow. This week. Rest in peace. Yeah. R.I.P. AKA. Yeah. yeah. So and then you have the TKZs. Yeah. Oh you yeah. Have you know that's just insane. Yeah. So I grew up with with all those with, yeah. with the Channel O when it when it started. So yeah. we got really amazing content from SA. If yeah. you go to UG, I'm the old school. I have the, the Navios. Yeah. You know. Uh, Flex, DP, yeah. Pa. So, so, and now if you RIP, Double HP. Yeah. If you, if you do the uh, uh, Simba, what's his name? Uh, SA. Uh, the big rapper. In Kaspar? SA. Kaspar. Kaspar Nyovest. You know, yeah. Then you, when you go to, to West Africa, uh, we had uh, this guy who did 10 over 10. Uh, is Nato that C. Nato C? Nato C. MI. I no, yes. MI. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I'm a fan of of just good Of the music. greats. I'm but a fan of good there's, there's clearly a, a list here. Tell me your top five biggest hip-hop artists of all time. In no specific order because I mean people... That, that's... that's y- yeah. That, the problem and I just want to say at the beginning, if Tupac is not in your list, no, the problem just, is you can listen, stop now. Listen, listen, I don't want to rank. I yeah, don't, don't rank, rank, but if yeah. it's not in your list, just uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not gonna say. You don't want to do the top five. Yeah, I'm not gonna do a top five. I'm not okay, gonna then say just tell us your five. ten biggest <laughs> hip hop artists. If you say biggest, is, it's also gonna be right. Oh tell, God, tell me my favorite. My problem with hip hop no, hip hop fans no, is no, they, they like fans. being so politically correct. No, even if you ask me about Benga, okay, don't ask me about the top just yeah. ask me about my favorite okay tell me your favorite ah, my favorite oh you coward yeah. you have uh jay-z definitely uh-huh. uh dmx cause rough riders yeah uh i have biggie uh-huh. in new york i have park i mm-hmm. have dre i have ice cube mm-hmm. uh who else Lil kim have? oh yeah the, f- the the chicks i have Lil kim Nicki minaj's album is not by nature not by nature definitely the old school heads yeah uh, you have Hello, cool J. Uh, LL Cool J, you J. have Cole. Karis One, J Cole. I'm a fan of J Cole. <laughs> even, even, we, even with the with the new cats. Yeah, yeah Drake. Are you a fan of Drake? Drizzy, yes. Uh, his album is dope. Are you afraid of being called out by Drake? <laughs> so you're like, yeah, 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 I'm his fan. Yeah, I'm his fan. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't change anything yeah. about what I do. So, yeah. but yeah, I'm a fan of Drake because yeah. I've when when he was coming up, we play we actually played these guys' music from. When they were young, money like with with the Nicki Minaj and yeah. Lil Wayne putting out yeah. them out there. So yeah. and I'm a, I'm a, I really read a lot on yeah. hip hop and yeah. I really watch a lot of shows. Right now we are lucky that uh, if you get the networks BET and and MTV, they have so many shows that give you history about hip hop mm. and everything. Mm. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge even like on Netflix is like there's. There's two amazing documentaries on hip hop, and one is also specifically just for women on yes, Queen Latifah, yes, yes. Radega. I, 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 I mean, yeah, yeah. the yeah, whole yeah. and how they really, they really change MC Light, MC Light and how they all change the industry and really yeah. the contribution is quite so, phenomenal. Yeah. Finally, 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 like a, yeah. like like a principal in a Kenyan high school. <laughs> Last but not least, and to finish off, 
<laughs> and in closing, <laughs> and in closing, <laughs> uh, will we ever get a Kenyan sound? What does a Kenyan? How does a Kenyan sound look like? How does that? I think Kenya is too diverse to say we have a sound. Like if you go to the states, there is no American sound, mm. but you have there's hip hop, there's jazz, there's yeah, yeah. you know. Mm. So that's the same thing as as Kenya. Mm. There's no Kenyan sound. We're mm-hmm. too diverse for for saying this is a Kenyan sound. Mm-hmm. We have Ohangla, we mm-hmm. have Bengal, we have R and B, we have Mugidi, we have uh, Lungesta. Yeah, we, you know. yeah. So we have Embarambamba. Yeah. I mean. There's really no guys. If you ever heard Mama in your country, by the way, Mama has a new song. <laughs> After he was called out, I'm sorry for cutting short. His his song was Nipe Ama Ni Ni Usi Nipe. The song called Nipe Ama Usi Nipe. Was he called that? Nipe or something? Nipe Ama Unipe. But it's actually it's a gospel song. Yeah. The guys went and called him out for it. Now he has a new jam. To, to Do you know the new down. song he's called? No, no. Panua. God damn. Yeah. If you're not so, Kenyan, find a Kenyan friend. They'll, ex- <laughs> they'll, yeah. they'll explain to you what that means. So at the end of, I think we are too diverse to to have that that notion of a Kenyan sound. Because yeah. What would a Kenyan sound? Like? Mm. That's why I I really love splitting them into genres and like okay, I'm a I I I am a hip hop artist. Yeah. You know, but yeah. hip hop doesn't mean you can't. Uh, collaborate with jazz because yeah. it happens. Yeah, you can collaborate with or hangla. You I mean, hip hop is hip hop is um hip hop is a product of of reggae of dancehall. Of, of yeah, it's yeah. a product of a lot of. It's lot literally because the the, the story that I know is when uh, is when you talk about the chops from reggae and that's how they got the hip hop sound. So it's it's, I think we should just stop wasting time trying to figure out. Mm, so we're mm. too diverse. We yeah, I've diverse. I've said this before on some other podcast called yeah. Thirty Percent. Is that Kenyan fans love being critics? They all want to be Joe Biden, all of them. Oh yeah, all and of then, them want to be Joe Biden. <laughs> oh, you know this sound needs to look like this. Really? Octopus or your last album? Now you should change it. Uh, calligraph now. I, you should do more music with with West yeah. Africans. Yeah. I'm like you, Joe Biden. You're just a burden to this industry. All of you people, be, just enjoy the music and stop. Yeah. With all this, I know yeah. it all attitude. But the critics, you know, how how I look at critics, I'm like, in as much as we we always say, Ati, oh, it's my voice, I have a say, but let it be an informed voice. Yeah, but let it also be let it also be constructive. Yes. Yeah. 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 So it was what is it? Mm-hmm. DJ and Raf. What's up? Thank you for your time. What do you do? I'll I'll come to the studio. Please, no, no, listen, Anto. I will record the listen, song. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> Me, I embrace technology as money. That's why I can manage to to produce a track right now. Yeah. Email it to the UK. Yeah. So the local sent back. Yeah. Master, and we release it next week. Yeah. We shouldn't stress ourselves. So no more and, excuses. And to, and to, and to I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it happen. Jesus. Seven years. You don't have to mention anyway, the, you, the time. You should come to my show where I'll so you rude. And just, <laughs> you're so rude. You did. You need. And Raf, you can leave now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my show. My guest was Anto. The rude today. person. Anto Just go. Guest. I said I'll come to the studio Anto and you're ready. Anto was my guest today. He promised to come. Go to hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Raf. Thank you for enlightening us with your... Uh, with your <laughs> you're, a, you're really an amazing person and a friend. Thank you for coming you through. <laughs> now you can go. Go finish my tea. Go finish your tea. God. That's DJ Eraf. Make sure you go check him out all over social media. And <laughs> go check out uh, Enraf all over social media. Please connect with him. And of course, if you love great music and you love great DJs, he's the guy to get for your show. I am at the beautiful Nairobi Street Kitchen. And today I am at uh, the Fire and Door, right next to the bus, the famous bus. So come check us out whenever you have time. Keep it locked. Thank you for choosing Unlock Your Soul podcast, where it helps you to grow and, of course, unlock your soul. I hope you learned something new, something bright, something great today, and that you can also share this podcast with each and every single person that you know. All you got to do is review, like, and share this podcast on your favorite social media platform. Also, make sure you check us out on YouTube at Unlock Your Soul Podcast, on Instagram at Unlock Your Soul Pod, and on TikTok at Unlock Your Soul Podcast. It's time. It's time.